Hi guys. Okay, so we are going to talk a little bit more about adding two digit numbers today. Um, so we are just gonna do this example on the front together and the guided practice. And then you are gonna do the independent practice by yourself, all right? So at the bottom it says, Mr. K's class is selling flowers. The first week they sold 45 flowers. The second week they sold 26 flowers. How many flowers did they sell in all? Put a box around in all because that is a math action word. Okay, so we are going to um, show with base 10 blocks what week one and week two looks like. So week one was 45 flowers and week two was 26 flowers. So let's go ahead and draw that. I'm gonna draw my tens in red and my ones in blue, but you can use whatever colors you want or you can just use your pencil. All right, so I'm gonna draw, how many tens do I draw for 45? I draw four tens, one, two, three, four. And then how many ones do I draw for 45? How many ones are in that number? Five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now, how many tens do I draw for 26? I draw two tens, one, two. And how many ones do I draw for 26? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so if I were to add this using the base 10 block method, um, my first thing I need to do always is to add the ones together, right? So five ones plus six ones. Is that gonna get me to something over 10? Think about it. Yeah, because I know five plus five is 10, so five plus six is gonna be one more than 10, which is 11. So I'm gonna circle those 10 ones. I'm just gonna circle all five of these and then five of the six over here. And those guys are gonna turn into another 10, right? So I'm turning 10 ones into one 10. I'm not changing the value. It's still the same value, but now I turned those 10 ones into a 10, okay? So now, how many ones do I have left? I have one one, and then I have four ones and one, I'm sorry, four tens, one 10, and two tens. How many tens is that all together? Seven, right? So let's do this with our um, line up method, okay? 45, make sure your tens and ones are lined up plus 26, okay? Five plus six, we already decided what was five plus six? 11, so remember, in the number 11, that is one 10, so that 10 is gonna get regrouped in, or carried up with the tens, and this one is gonna go down in the ones place, okay? So now, I have one 10 plus four tens plus two tens, that equals seven tens. So again, 71, 71. So there are 71. How can we put this in a complete sentence? Remember the question was, how many flowers did they sell in all? You could say, Mr. K's class sold 71 flowers in all. All right, awesome job, let's flip it over. Let's look at the top of this page. So they're showing us exactly what we already talked about, right? So they're showing, so they're doing 18 plus 25. So they had, ignore this gray guy for a second, okay? And ignore that circle. But they'd had one 10 and eight ones for 18. And then they had two 10s and five ones for 25, okay? So what they did is they said, well, I know that eight ones and five ones is 13 ones. That's too many, right? Go ahead and write that down. Everything I write in a video, you write. So 13 ones. Well, I could take 10 of those ones and make a 10. So that's exactly what they did. So now these guys are gone, okay? And there are three left over, which is exactly what we talk about, right? If there's 13 ones, that is one 10 and three ones, okay? So if I take 10 ones out of 13, there are three ones left. That's why there's three ones in my answer. And so now I have another 10 plus the 10 from 18, plus the two 10s from 25, which equals five 10s all together. I'm sorry, four 10s all together. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. Okay, four 10s all together, it's 43. Okay, so that's exactly what they did here. So 18 plus 25 is 43. All right, let's keep going. Um, so, I am going to, so we're just gonna kind of, if this confuses you, just ignore it, okay? If you know how to do our method up here where we take 10 ones and make a 10 and put the rest of the ones down here, you're good, okay? I'm sorry, you can see where I was pointing, but up here, if you understand this, just don't worry about this, but if this helps you to see, okay, we had 47 
plus 29. And we took 10 ones and made a 10 and there are six ones left. If that helps you, cool. Use this on these two problems, okay? So I'm gonna do our normal method because they've already shown us this, okay? So seven plus nine is 16 because um, if I bump this up to 10, I would have to take one away from the seven. So it'd be nine plus seven is the same thing as 10 plus six, which is 16. If I take 10 ones from 16 and make it a 10 over here, and then my six goes down in the ones place, then I add my tens. One ten plus four tens plus two tens is seven tens. Okay, let's come over here. Two, so I have 12 plus 24. One ten and two ones plus two tens and four ones. Make sure you can see that. Okay, so if I add my ones together, can I make a 10? No, because two plus four is only six. So there's nothing to regroup, right? I don't have to take 10 ones out and make it a 10 because I can just put six down here in the ones place. Then I add my one 10 and my two 10s and I get three 10s and I'm done. Okay, let's go down here. 82 plus 14. So I'm going to, if, you, if it helps you to do our strategy, keep doing the strategy. But if you think you're ready, you can just add the numbers two plus four and I know that equals six. Six is not more than 10, so I don't have to regroup. I'm gonna put my six in the ones place. Then I add my eight tens plus one ten and get nine tens. If you need to do this, two plus four is six, that's totally fine. Keep doing that. Keep doing all the strategy with the arrows. But if you think, okay, I've got this, Miss Hartgrove, I am ready to move on, then you can do just what I just did. Let's see what it looks like if I um, have to regroup. So five plus nine. Well, I know five plus nine, nine is close to 10, right? So nine plus five is the same as 10, Take away one from here, plus four. So 10 plus four I know is 14. Uh-oh, that's a number more than 10. I know in 14, there is one 10 and four ones. So you see what I just did? Same thing as with the strategy, I just didn't do my bracket and find the answer and draw my arrows. If you want to draw your arrows, please keep doing it. If you find, oh, I can't remember how to do this, keep doing the arrows, totally fine. Now I add my one 10 plus one 10 plus one 10 and I get three tens, okay? 24 plus 18, okay, I'm gonna add my ones first. Eight ones plus four ones, that equals 12 ones. Uh-oh, that's 10 or more. I'm gonna have to regroup. So in 12, there is one 10 and two ones. If I take 10 ones out of 12 and make a 10, there are two ones left over. Now one 10 plus two tens plus one 10 is four tens. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do after you finish this video is you're going to um, go to Seesaw and you're gonna do that example problem so that I can see if you understand, okay? After you do the example problem, you're going to start the independent practice. All right, so same thing, you're doing the same exact thing. Notice how they come and they gradually take things away from you, right? So first they still have tens and ones separated then they kind of don't give you where the tens and ones are, but they still give you the line. Then by the time you get to the bottom, they've taken it all away, right? So the important thing is that you remember you have to line up tens and ones, okay? That's super important. So once you start writing it like this, you have to remember, line up tens and ones, okay? On the back of this page, you have some story problems. You have to show your answer. So your answer should look, I mean, when you solve for your answer, it should look like this, okay? You should line up the numbers and add them, if you're adding them, okay? And I expect that you're going to circle numbers and labels and that you're going to box any math action words like in all. Um, let's talk about the brain builder for a second because I know it might be a little bit tricky. It says, Al's pet store had 14 small lizards and some large lizards. I don't know how many. After selling two lizards, there were 30 in the store. How many large lizards were there before the sale? So before the sale, I don't need to know after selling, right? So I don't really need to know that, except to know that there were 30 after the sale, right? So before the sale, there were 32 in all. So in my part, part, whole box, so I guess technically we did leave that information, <laughs> okay? So in all, there were 32 lizards. Some of those lizards were small, and some of those lizards were large, okay? We know that how many were small? How, 
many lizards were small? 14, right? Do we know how many were large? No, we don't. It says some large lizards. So you're going to have to figure out what I need to add to 14 to make it 32 in all, okay? Just like whenever we do our other strategy where we break apart and come back together, this is technically breaking 32 apart into 14 and something else. You have to figure out what's left, okay? And then you need to answer the right math at the bottom. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead over to your seesaw.